My lifestyle now is I'm a heart patient. I will always be a heart patient. But it's because of events like this that research continues to go on and things develop and medications exist and we're able to be here. I am Amy Monk Tibbetts. I've worked for Blaine's for seven years and on February 11th of this year, five months ago, I had a massive heart attack. Around 11.30 in the evening on the 11th, I woke up out of bed and I just, I didn't feel right. Something in my chest, my whole chest cavity was cold. And I woke my husband up and I said, I don't, I don't feel right, something's not right. Friday and Saturday after um, Thursday the 11th, I was exhausted. So for about 18 hours each day, I slept. Then on Valentine's Day, I had dinner with the family for Valentine's Day. And then Monday started and as the week progressed um, that week, I kept getting shorter, shortness of breath and it was getting harder and harder to go upstairs. By the time I'd get to the top of the stairs, I literally would be out of breath and gasping for air. My week progressed even further into the following weekend where I started to now develop a cough. So I thought, oh, I have COVID. So on the 21st, which was a Sunday, I went to the pharmacy, did a rapid test. Results for that came back on Tuesday that it was negative. By then I was freaking out. I thought, oh no, I don't have COVID, what is this? So I got onto my chart, messaged my doctor, timeline of everything that was going on. And the last line on my message was, I want my heart checked. I have heart failure in my family, which my mother, father had open heart surgery. My sister and my brother have had heart attacks and open heart surgery. I want my heart checked. And I get put back out into the lobby to wait for the results of the echo. And I see my phone ring and it's my doctor calling for me inside the clinic telling me that the tech is coming back out right now and they're going to take me down to the emergency room. I'm going to be admitted to the hospital. Um, they went in through my wrist, which was nice, instead of going in through my groin um, to do the cath. And while they were in there, um, they put two stents in my heart. Um, one of the arteries had a blood clot in it, which he was able to remove at that time. There was also a blood clot that was in the lower part of my heart that he couldn't remove because it was too dangerous. So, um, and the heart function on the lower front lobe of my heart had pretty much stopped at that point. Um, he said my heart function was at 20% at the time of the cath. And um, by opening up the arteries, hopefully that was gonna um, get the blood flow back to the heart and the heart functioning again and so forth. But time would tell, which is three months. They did the echo and then I had my doctor appointment. He came in and he said, to me, he said, I am one happy cardiologist. This is a very good day. The blood cloud was gone and my heart function was 45%. So it had gone up 25% um, from my initial heart attack, which he said is huge. So three times a week, I go um, over to the clinic at St. Mary's and I exercise um, 23 minutes on a physio step and 23 minutes on a treadmill. Um, so I do that on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. That helps strengthen my heart and make it healthy. The Heart Association um, now means more to me than ever before, obviously. 
Um, but if my message to you this evening touches one person, um, then I'm glad to have made this video. I'm proud to have made this video. Um, we all need to, we all know the warning signs and um, the Heart Association will, the pamphlets teach us what the warning signs are. We just have to pay attention to them. I went 15 days, 15 days and did not pay attention to them until it came time when a COVID test came back negative. So all of you here this evening, um, yes, you know, it's a golf outing, it's a day off of work, but it's also um, important for research. It's important for events like this to happen to help fund research for the Heart Association. Um, again, I wouldn't be here, I don't think, without the medications that are developed because of research. Heart Association is important. Events like this are important. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being here.